Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to study about recuperators. Here students, we will first understand the what is recuperators. Then we will see its examples, then its advantages and disadvantages. So now to understand what is recuperators, we will consider the example in the steam power plant. Suppose here, see, this is a, a general arrangement of a recuperators. Okay, and see here, here these are the tubes as you can see here and this is a channel okay we can call it as a channel or box okay so here in this box or in this channel the tubes are arranged vertically as you can see here and see this this chamber or box has inlet here which from this inlet there is coming or uh, coming off uh, hot gases okay this is a hot gas inlet uh, or we can call it as a flue gases these gases are coming from the boiler these are the boiler flue gases boiler okay so this is the hot gases which will be coming from the boiler and this hot gas gas inlet and this hot gases will pass through this chamber as you can see here and comes out at this hot gas at this second position so this here suppose at one here this is the hot gas inlet the hot or flue gases which will be coming from the boiler and this is the hot gas outlet okay and here are in the tubes there will be the air inlet this is first this is second as you can see here this inside these tubes we will flow the air from this is the air inlet which will be the cold air and and when these uh, this air will come out at the second from the second point the the air will be the hot this happens because when these hot glasses will pass through this chamber or box this will exchange the heat with this cold air which we can call it as atmospheric cold air also and when this air will come out from the second position second part second stage second part from here then this air will be the hot air okay this is the general arrangement and working of recuperators this is the heat exchange process and the in recuperators this process is we is happening in a steady state okay so here this is the general arrangement we have taken the steam power plant example to understand this okay so here some examples of recuperators are here automobile radiators and also in the steam power plant we use oil coolers air intercoolers air preheaters economizers superheaters condensers and surface feed heaters of the steam power plant these are also the examples of the recuperators and also the milk chiller or pasteurizing plant and second third fourth is evaporation of an ice plant so now we will see some advantages and disadvantages of recuperators so here first advantage is, is construction is very easy okay so and it is more economical as the construction is easy so it is economical and more surface area for heat transfer as you can see here we have here more surface area these are the tubes and this is the box or chamber which provides us the more surface area for heat transfer this is one of the advantage of recuperators further much suitable for stationary plants as you can see here the steam power plant is a stationary power plant which we have taken the example in this uh, per, uh, for to, to ex, uh, explain this so here disadvantages are less heat transfer coefficient it has the less heat transfer coefficient this is one of the disadvantage and less generating capacity is generate its generation capacity of the uh, you can call it as the hot air generation capacity is less so and it has the suiting problems okay these are some disadvantages of recuperators and as i told you the flow through recuperators may be treated as steady state okay 
so students in this video we have understood about recuperators thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you